Is it too early to speculate about a sequel, or prequel, or interquel for Fire Emblem Three Houses? Probably, but that won't stop me, because I love speculating about what will come next for a series. In this video, I will tackle whether I think a Three Houses sequel is likely, what it would involve, and any other details that spring to mind while writing this script. Unsurprisingly, this video will have spoilers. Most sequels do connect to the original in some way, after all. If that does not deter you, proceed onwards. What do I think about the likelihood of another game set in the world of Three Houses? Pretty likely. The only two Fire Emblem worlds that have had no sequels have been Magvel for Sacred Stones and the Fates world. And no, Fates itself doesn't count as a sequel to Awakening or the other Arcanea games. Just because a few characters come over through contrived methods does not make it a sequel. The advantage Three Houses has over both Magvel and Fates Landia, hey, they didn't come up with a name so I get to call it whatever I want, is significantly better world development. Magvel's was alright, and I could still see Sacred Stones get a sequel someday, but Fate's World is just blank. It has nothing to build off of. As opposed to Three Houses World, which has an already rich geopolitical background. Fodlin is just one of several continents and places we heard about during the course of the story. Almira, Dagda, Brigid, Sreng all had specific relationships to the nations of Fodlin that can be played with and developed. There is so much potential to build around with these lands that I think it would be foolish not to at least try to enrich this land further with development. The lands beyond Fodlin also weren't too developed beyond their relationships to Fodlin, so that leaves a lot of creative room for the team to develop them in a future game. Oh, and also, the biggest reason a Three Houses sequel seems likely? Sales numbers. Three Houses will likely be the best-selling Fire Emblem game ever. One of the safest bets to keep that success going is to stay in this land of opportunity. Despite what I just said, though, I think it would be best for a Three Houses sequel to not be set in Fodlin. Or at the very least, not mainly set in Fodlin. One, for creative freedom getting the opportunity to play around in a new land without having to obey the geographic limitations of the previously established continent, and two, because of the four paths of three houses. The first point I think I explained well enough already, but to rehash, establishing a new setting in the same world allows for greater creative freedom with the land's construction. The second point, though, is a little more convoluted, and also connects to why I think the game should be a prequel instead of a sequel. There is no golden path for three houses. No canon path, I should say, since there is the Golden Deer path. In order to do a sequel, then, a canon path would probably have to be chosen, and that could upset fans. I know I still don't consider Revelations the actual canon path of fates, and any choice they make between the four paths is just going to cheapen the other ones when people play through them again later. Setting the next story in Fodlin risks throwing off the pretty well-constructed narrative of Three Houses. In theory, they could use a save data transfer and change up the sequel based off of the route chosen in Three Houses, but the sheer amount of work that would entail is staggering to make it so each path has elements of it in the sequel. It would be impressive if they did it, but that's ambition on an enormous scale, so I think it's unlikely to happen. A prequel could work, but prequels have the tendency to have a ripple effect changing perceptions of the original narrative. This effect can be good or bad, and so in order to minimize this ripple effect, that's why I think having a prequel set outside of Fodlin makes sense. That doesn't mean there can't be nods to the story that would come later, but it would take a lot of the pressure off the writers to specifically write the story so that it would lead smoothly into the events of Three Houses. Think Valentia's relationship to Arcanea, much easier to manage than Jugdral, Alib, or Tellius. Do I have a particular nation in mind for a sequel game? Well, I think that Brigid, Dagda, and Almira could all be options. Srang didn't quite have enough development for me to include it on the list. Brigid in particular is an attractive candidate to me because we know from Petra's backstory that Brigid is not a huge country. It fits the Altea model, a small island nation near a powerful nation. In this case, Dagda or even Adrestia if we want that Fodlin connection. 
Almira and Dagda, though, could be chosen if IS wants to break from the series tradition of small nation invaded by large empire, which would fit in nicely with a couple of the paths from Three Houses. I would still go with Bridget, though, but maybe that's my Petra bias on display. So my desire, not a theory, I've got no idea what they would do with this potential game, is for a prequel set in Bridget. What game mechanics should make it over from Fodlin to Bridget in this case? First off, no academy. I know it was popular, and a great new idea. Don't do what you did to the child units, though, and force it into a game where it doesn't fit. I also think it would be a good idea to have only one path or two for this game. Four was a lot, let me tell you. My worry on this front is that after such a huge game, they might think that fans only want humongous games in the Three Houses style and add several paths to every game from now on. Those are the two main things that I think should be left with Three Houses. The expanded customization of classes, though, can certainly come along. Also, getting to explore around a main base area and do various activities should remain as well. Some mechanics could also come over with maybe some tweaking, such as the battalions and the calendar-based time progression. The time skip could also work if it is justified well like it was for Three Houses, or going back for Genealogy of the Holy War. If they do make another game set in this world, when do I think it will come out? Well, I'm not going to specify year or time frame, because let's face it, I've been wildly off on those guesses in all of my previous sequelitis videos. I blame the new upcoming PS5 and Xbox consoles. What I will speculate about is what games, if any, will come between Three Houses and a sequel. First off is the Switch port of Tokyo Mirage Sessions. This has been confirmed already for January. Nothing will get in between that release for Fire Emblem. After that, there's Three Houses DLC scheduled for Spring, and then I think IS will turn his focus to a new mainline game. However, I think the next Echoes game will come before another original story. So a remake of Binding Blade, most likely, or maybe even of Genealogy of the Holy War will come first. And then after that, I'd expect this potential game. Of course, I could be wrong, Radiant Dawn, Blazing Sword, Gaiden, and Thracia 776 all followed immediately after the games they were connected to, so they could go straight into another game. I just think it's unlikely given the current popularity of the franchise, which lends itself well to remakes of the non-Western release games, because they are highly in demand over here. So my prediction is that Fire Emblem 18 is the most likely place for a new game to land. But hey, what do I know? Pretty much nothing. I hope you enjoyed my rambling thoughts on a Three Houses sequel, or in my case, prequel. Please let me know in the comments what you'd want from a Three Houses sequel, and leave a like to help boost this video in the eyes of the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to keep up with my content and the rest of Fire Emblem Week, and I hope you have a great day, and happy gaming.